<laughs> no, he's not up. Oh, this is Uli. Morning. We love Uli. I love you. It's, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. it's so good to see you again, my friend. Mm. Yes. Yes, after, yes. After nearly three years. Three years, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Now that's right. Three years. That's right, yeah. yeah time good. time flies a little too fast, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you would have told me before, it would have been different. But now yeah. in the aftermath, three years yeah. gone. Well, that's the funny thing about our business is, uh, you know, when you see a good friend, it feels like you just saw them yeah. last week, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 that's exactly what it is. This. Yeah. What's that god awful noise? Oh no, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, this is Ozzy. What's up? What's up? What's up, Ozzy? I just met Ozzy today. Seems like a great guy. Yeah. yeah, I'm just venturing off site here and I'm gonna go check out uh, the area nearby. DeRosa told me that it's pretty cool, so let's see what it's all about. Yeah, he was right. This is a really busy area. I'm like in it now, man. Just uh, shamelessly being a foreigner here. <laughs> So this is uh, outside the show here in Berlin. <laughs> A couple of different lines to get in. And people just hanging out outside. <laughs> it looks like uh, they just got this nice little community basket here. So when you're done with your brew, you just send the empty one right in that cart. Pinko. That's not a bad idea. They're like all over the place. Well, I mean, that's probably smart because I think they're probably going to have more than one cart full of empties uh, after this rowdy crowd of maniacs is done with the place, man. You klutz. Dude, you just learned to walk, buddy? On the other side. Okay. Um, you mean in regards to uh, bar traffic? Yeah, okay. Sweet. Buck's just like keeping an eye on the birds to see if they need to be restocked or whatever, you know? So, nervous 
here in November. Yeah. It was raining and like this whole area just smelled like a farm. <laughs> Smelling farm. Yep. It was like so gross. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Go straight ahead to fuck the life. The whole thing, like when you take pictures with fans, yeah, you don't put your arm around them because right. it can always be misconstrued. Right. Yeah. So it's kind of like a Me Too thing. So he would just be like, like with his hand. Yeah, yeah. Or he would do like bunny ears. Right. Right. Okay. So nobody's gonna. So you'll see a lot of like other people, like Mark McGrath and right. others, do that yeah. too, because you know, I mean, obviously, pun not intended, but Kevin Bacon. He's got the bacon. He's got the bacon, yeah. People are going to be like, oh, he, he put his arm around my wife. I'll sue him and see if I get some of his money. Well, you yeah. got to get ready for stage. Yeah, I got to get ready, man. You better get you better get there to see if they need the money. today to discover that there's laundry on site. Now, I gotta say, this is the first time I've seen something like this. We initially thought, you got a couple of washing machines, you got a dryer, you got some fridges or whatever, but you know, those are dryers. These are dryers, man. Look, look at this thing. grocery store in Copenhagen and I'm just like yeah pretty exciting right just filming in a grocery store baby that's right I came all this way to show you this grocery store how fascinating look mustard they have it there's like some dairy items and stuff well here's a cool thing that they have you can get these in America too and there's like they have like this like Yogurt chocolate bar thing. It's not ice cream, it's like yogurt, but they keep it in the fridge. Look at that milk slice. It's not a freezer, it's just a fridge. Now, look at this. Talk about new format, 410 grams. Look at that. That's cereal? Wow. This is the third grocery store that I've been in in Copenhagen so far. This is like a mega one too. This place is huge, man. Huge, I say. It's like a warehouse in a mall. Now, if I can't find what I'm looking for here, I think it might be time to give up the hunt. All right, so it appears that, um, no, not everything works out. I'm gonna be leaving. We're gonna be leaving Scandinavia without getting my hands on that, uh, jalapeno 
cheese and a tube there that I love so much. Um, yeah, so that's okay. That's all right. I did score a gigantic thing of um, sriracha mayo though. Check that out. So. This venue almost looks like it's like a hotel or something. This is the venue. Nice show. Everyone's out there smoking and drinking. And, uh, here we are. We're coming inside here. Look at this joint. This is awesome, man. I was just hanging out, having fun. really where they have a concert or like people like staying here it's just like a casino what's going on man it's nutty restaurant conference bars and stuff this luxurious seating these danish people know what's up Post show and a couple of beers. We um, we just played the uh, Falconer Hall. Well, that's a wicked U U.S. way to say it in uh, Copenhagen, and uh, it was great. And now we're leaving because that's how we do it. And I accidentally got drunk again. Warsaw, Poland. Interesting setup today. The uh, dressing room is in a different building from the stage. It's cool. It's gonna work. It's gonna be a great show. I don't know why, but um, everything hurts today. I'm just so sore. We had a day off in uh, Berlin yesterday, and we have we left the hotel last night and jumped back in the bus at about 1 a.m. to uh, make our way here to Warsaw, and. Um, I don't know if my, uh, I flipped my mattress over in my bunk in the bus because it had like a big divot. I don't, I don't know why, I'm just, ouch. It just feels so damn old today. We got a day off here in uh, Vienna, Austria, and I'm um, going to get something to eat. 
I'm just gonna walk around and take take in the sights. Uh, we've been here many times. I love Vienna, so uh, yeah, it's gonna be a great day. of a 47 year old loser okay <laughs> so I was looking up um, places to go get a drink here in Vienna uh, just wanted to explore a little bit and, uh, because I'm old and uh, I was looking online so I was like, okay, I found a couple two three bars I found this one bar it was uh, kind of a hike and I walked all the way over there quite windy and uh, insane out right now and um, I was like, dude, what, what am I going to do? Get a beer? Am I going to get like a Campari soda or some shit? I don't know, man. And um, I rolled up to that joint and it was a small, uh, very cool little dive bar filled to the gills with people much younger than myself. There was no, no way in hell I was going to be able to go in there. Alright, I'm venturing off the reservation here uh, in Vienna from the venue. There's like a mall with an art supply store. I'm gonna go see if I can um, buy some uh, art supplies from that store for uh, my older daughter who's uh, an enthusiast when it comes to drawing, illustrations, making comics and stuff like that. In fact, she drew this guy right here that's on my shirt. See that PB? That stands for Painbot. Her artwork. All right, so I've got some success here. Yeah, uh, notepad and a nice black marker and a black pen there. That should be enough to get some drawings done. All right, the doors are open here at Wienerstadt Hall in Vienna, and um, this place is vast, man. So even though there's a lot of people here, there's still a lot of room. And this is like the front foyer. And there's huge bar hallways on either side of the room. And then there's like the room itself where the show happens. So it's a pretty, uh, they got it down here, man. This place is a megaplex of entertainment and insanity. Peter Stott Hall. Oh, 